when you're developing mindfulness, it's not just a matter of simply being aware of what's happening. That's alertness. Mindfulness is the ability to remember. What do you have to remember? Well, you have to remember, one, where you want to stay focused. So if the mind wanders off, you can remember, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go someplace else. I'm going to stay here with the breath. So you bring it back. And you also remember when you're there that you would try to give rise to good qualities and try to undercut any un unskillful qualities in the mind. In other words, you don't just watch things coming and going. You make good things come and you try to make the unskillful things go. That's directly connected to right effort. I mean, all the factors of the path have to work together. But it's important that we understand that right mindfulness means keeping certain things in mind, and particularly remembering what you need to do when you face a certain situation. When unskillful qualities arise, what can you do to get rid of them? Remember, you remember that you want to get rid of them, and you also remember the things that have worked well in the past. You try those out. If they don't work, then you can experiment with something new. But you don't have to keep reinventing the Dharma wheel with every moment. Same thing with skillful qualities. Once they arise, what can you do to keep them going? How do you maintain them? You don't just watch, say, concentration come and go and think you've gained insight. When concentration comes, how can you maintain your balance? How can you keep it with you? That's what mindfulness is all about. This is why, this is why the Buddha has said that mindfulness is like the supervisor of the path. It's a governing principle that keeps everything else working. In other words, you remember all the lessons you've learned from the past, and then you try to apply them to what you need to do right here and now. Because equanimity is good for some things, but not good for everything. There are some defilements that go away. All you have to do is just watch them, and they go. Others, you watch, and then they hide from you. They're there, and you think you see them, but you don't see the whole story. And those are the ones that you have to dig down into. So you've got to remember that simply watching things coming and going is not going to get you all the way down the path. In fact, it doesn't get you very far. Occasionally it's useful, but not always. So you need a wide range of skills. This is why you need to have a wide conception of what mindfulness means. It originally came from the term in English. You know, when, when the people were beginning to translate the Pali text, they came across this word sati, seeing that it was mind, memory applied to the present moment. What do we have in English? Well, they had the word mindful, like being ever mindful of the needs of others. So they just added ness on the end and created mindfulness. And that's how we have this term. It comes from keeping in something in mind and using that ability to keep something in mind to supervise all the other factors of the path. 